My wife. My wife. That I love so much. <laughs> she, bought, she bought the uh, can that looks like the Pringles can, food. but it's like little Doritos. I was like, it's the bottom of the bag of Doritos, but harder to get. And I was like, this is just the bottom of the bag of That's Doritos. The company getting creative with waste. Yep. But <laughs> you're right. When I reach to the bottom, I of that, right. when I reach to the bottom of a new Dorito bag, it better be just big ass chips the whole time. That's, I mean, yeah, but the, no, it's gonna be more air. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get that out of there. Resell it. Put more air. That's exactly what they would do too. Look at CEO Neat the Geek. You are right. That feels right. One hundred percent. I I think the little uh the little bags of uh, goldfish. Those are the throwaway they goldfish start, too. They're gonna start selling de- Doritos in boxes and be like. Every every chip isn't broken. Dude. Yeah. So if you if you it, when you get when you get when you get super stardom, Neek, and you're gonna become a CEO like uh, like Fifty Cent over like vitamin water, first mm. thing you come in, you're gonna be like, how do we f them? <laughs> we gotta put extra, extra carbon. Yeah. I want more bubbles in this bitch. You open the can, you go. You watch the you watch the level go down. <laughs> I want that thing to boom when I open yeah. it. It's like a can of actually, tennis it, balls. Actually, we should shake up each one before it goes out so they can actually spill it so they have to buy another one. Put the, put the pallet on the shaker. The All About Nothing podcast may have content and language that isn't appropriate for some. Listener discretion is advised. Recorded live from the GOT Sound Studio in Lexington, South Carolina. This is the All About Nothing podcast with Zach King, Trent Clark, and me, Bear Gruber. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the All About Nothing podcast. I'm Bear Gruber, joined by Zach King, Trent Clark, and this week, Neek the Geek. Welcome in, Neek. What's up? How's it going? It's going good. Good, fellas. Nicholas the Geekless is with us. Yes, Neek is here. Why does that make it sound like he's missing something? Nicholas the Geekless. It's Nikolai. Nikolai. <laughs> Nikolai. That's what I up. tell people. What's your real name, Nikolai? Previate. So if, That's funny because when people go like, is Zach short for Zachariah? I'm like, good try, but no, we'll take it. Zach- Zachariah. Is Zachary. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, because every time I have to tag you on Facebook, I have to use Zachary. What? Zachary uh, R. King. What does R stand for? Yeah, why don't you use your podcast name, <laughs> My sir? middle name is Reginald. Reginald? That's my brother's first name. Really? Really? Yeah. That's why me and your brother are tight. No, not that brother. Uh, <laughs> I was about to be like, what? Because <laughs> I was over here like, what? That's not Byron's first name. <laughs> my, my, Reginald Byron. Byron's first name was Byron. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Doesn't my, Reginald sound like a oldest, title, though? My yeah. oldest brother's first name. So how many brothers you got? My middle name's not Reginald. <laughs> <Two>. <laughs> I, my middle name is not Reginald. <laughs> did you just cut him out of the will? Is that what you just did? No, he cut himself out by lying. Yeah, don't, don't go run into your brother and be like, I met another Reginald, finally. That's not me. That's not my middle name. You'll uh, never know. Thank you, everybody, for uh, listening to the show. Please subscribe uh, to the show. Subscriptions drive searches. That's how we get our new listeners. Please also consider supporting us financially by visiting patreon.com slash the all about nothing. Uh, also, if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts and you think we're worth it, go ahead and give us one of those five-star reviews. If you're not on Apple Podcasts, give us one of those thumbs up or share the episode with your family and friends, and you can follow us on Twitter and interact that way. And do it if you don't think we're worth it. Just don't be petty. Yeah, no, or, or use it as like some gag against somebody you don't like. Be like, hey, I listened to this, and it was... Fantastic. And I think be like, it's going nowhere. You're like, wait till the middle, about an hour in. Or if you really want to get on our skin, just be like, hey, I'm going to support them and send them money. I know yeah. they wouldn't like this. And we really wouldn't like it. If I had to listen to it, everybody yeah, would listen. Yeah, we'd hate it. We, yeah. we, we, mm. would, we would even mention you for, for doing it. Yeah. And we'll pay you for shots of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. Why did you say that? <laughs> that's what you do, is you pay for shots of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> crap crap more crap <laughs> all right so uh if you're if you're watching us on youtube or you're watching us on the on the stream from uh twitch uh we are actually recording in the new podcast studio we're still doing some uh work to make the arrangements exactly uh how they need to be the most optimal yeah. uh and eventually the uh twitch stream if if we do the twitch stream every week we will have the audio from the microphones coming in so you can hear uh, uh, Trent over here hitting the buttons on some of the sounders. Of course, yeah. man. But Bear's still taking my job, so. Well, <laughs> as he just did. <laughs> I just it's, look, it's, it's 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 not on you. It's mostly just it's mostly just. Listen, Trent, you're still on train of wheels. You see, how he's like half and half. Most all the most important buttons are on his side. <laughs> Bear, it's like I'm gonna sit beside you. I just want to reach it. <laughs> I feel just like in case. I feel like that's fair. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. That was loud. Uh, so, uh, who's who's playing with the board now? Not me. Oh, okay. That was all you. Uh, it was all me. No, and, it's across. Let me get in on this. Yeah. <laughs> just everybody's hitting buttons. Uh, so, uh, I wanted to open up the floor to anything that you guys wanted to talk about. Uh, let's talk to Nick about how he feels about his yeah, new studio. About let's talk about the new I think studio. That's, we actually should have did the first podcast in the control room. I'm that's, thinking about that right now. That mm, that's true. That probably would have been really good. Short. <laughs> I mean, but we got different podcasts yeah. for different weeks, so we can actually do each each week. We can do a podcast in each room. Just to just give a, a tour. tour. Yeah, 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 a tour of the tour. podcast. That'd be yeah. pretty Weekly rad. tour. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We're, we're It'll be run. a month long tour. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Welcome to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, don't sleep on the garage because when that's finished, whew, that's really I might have to do a couple episodes in there. Yeah, that's true. You have to do maybe maybe two or three. Green screen. from each corner. Green screen, white screen, stage. Yeah. Have a live show. Everyone's just in front of us and we look down on them. Yeah, we'd have to get everybody to show up. like, I don't know about all that. But. Yeah, <laughs> no, I like the live show aspect. That might I work. was yeah. I was thinking after softball games we show up over here and then uh, grill out and oh, whatnot, yeah. not hang out in the parking well, lot. Well, about to bring his gazebo. Gazebo, the, the little tent thing. Oh, yeah. nice. That's not a gazebo, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> so black people it is, <laughs> sir. Oh damn, where'd you get this gazebo? <laughs> that's a, all right. <laughs> that's what we call it in the hood. All right? that's what, you live, <laughs> you live a block hey, from look, here. Hey, look, bear, hey, bear, like bear, like Drake said, start it. That's not where I started. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> started from the bottom and you know, Now okay I'm in Lexington Started from the bottom Now I'm in Lexington Your now. name is Trenton You went yeah. to Chapin Cause my mom My mom wanted me To get a good job So what What y'all mad Y'all mad Oh he's in the door now huh? <laughs> yeah. Well Interview. Trenton to Answer your question yes, thank <laughs> Please you. Thank you Thank you Neat I'm feeling good man Right you know this what train I'm saying? It's a lot to get done This is a, a Much bigger space It's twice the size Of the old studio Yeah Two fireplaces yeah. Oh yeah. It's dual fireplaces. It's fireplaces. Yeah. I love that. So we really only have well not any of the rooms are completely finished. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, we uh, yeah. this this room's going to get some paneling. Your room yeah. your your studio is going to get some paneling. Hopefully these two rooms will be fin those two rooms will be finished by uh the end of the week. That'll be great. And how yeah. big the recording booth is. It's not a booth. I don't think that does it. It's justice. a whole room. Yeah. Like you could fit a band in there. Yeah. At least a drum set. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. when Nick and I were walking through original like in the beginning like before before any of the construction and demolition went on when the building was dark and shapeless. He was still trying to decide which room he wanted for his studio. This room almost was his studio. Correct. Yeah. This room was almost going to be it. And this closet behind me was going to have to go. Correct. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't choose this room because this room is like a lot smaller. Than it, it is a lot smaller. A lot you, smaller. Pick the, you pick the oh, right room. Yeah, but it's still, but it's, right it's bigger than the podcast studio room we were in. Correct. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's. I, I I think it's actually even bigger than the first studio. Well, it was definitely the first studio room we were. You talking about uh, yeah, studio B. Yeah, yeah, over on St. Andrews. Yeah. Oh, and dude, then, for sure. And then the than studio, that. yeah, and then the the B studio. I would say it was both of those it. together. Yeah. I would I would say the only downside so far to this building has to be the ceilings. See, and I'm not talking about They're a little about short. It. Yeah, it's, I, I I wish we had taller ceilings. Yeah. And the These garage are, the ceiling is like yeah. yeah, too tall. Oh, you, well, you know, yeah, well, you know how Barrett does with a sludge hammer. Just get him to go ahead and knock a couple holes up in. <laughs> Wait, when you were sending pictures, no, let's like, let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about you, it. That, we do have to say the elephant Dude, because you, you, it wasn't all you because me and me almost killed ourselves in here. <laughs> like legit, took out. We was trying to take out the closet. We took out and a support one, beam. And, no, oh, in there. The, yeah, you yeah. Took out a support beam. Yes. So, well, yeah. Support being for the ceiling. And back, we, while we back. were doing it, we no, it like, wasn't no put it back. We just stopped because we knew that it was just dangling. It was just so much wood. Oh, it was so much <laughs> wood. We were like, why did they use this much wood to build a closet? I'm gonna oh. crawl out the window uh, real quick and so I don't get this uh, avalanche so, on me. Well, like, and that was so. I was up in the attic and Neek was downstairs, and I'm I'm trying to beat down the pieces of wood uh, to I guess dislodge them so that we can get so so that we could start to even out that ceiling. Which right. you know, your yeah. construction guys came in and. Much did a much better job. That's but, nice cousin, but, but you're like the roof is doing a V shape. No, now? no, not even that. Like, like there was like okay, so in in an in an A shaped roof, you have you have the the trestles that go across. Correct. Some of these trestles weren't hooked to any. Like they were not nailed to anything. <laughs> And I suspect that's not good enough for my house mentality. Yeah, but I suspect that they weren't hooked to anything before because when I went up, when we went up there, they were yeah. still kind of swaying. Yeah, it yeah. Was, it was a very scary process. So, here, so 
We took out all the support beans, but the icing on the cake was when Barrett came. <laughs> we took out the very last one, though. You know how it was holding on by a thread? We, we took out the thread. <laughs> <laughs> We're good? We're good. <laughs> and all then right. the contractors came the next day, and they was like, oh, man, this... The ceiling is about to fall in. Oh man! Yeah. So it was, was it built it, like this? It was that dire. And I was yeah, like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just like this. <laughs> and <laughs> like, we had to put a support beam here. Like, <laughs> I'm like yeah. and they did too. Yeah, yeah they put it. Yeah, they, so they fixed everything. Fun. They fixed all of that. Hey, yeah. you learned through the doing. Yeah, that's true. I was nervous, man. I was nervous. Uh, the owner would come by for some reason and just see, and see all of that. Oh. The real playback was when we had to go buy the wood. And we was like, damn, we need all this wood for this one piece of wood. Now we understand why we took all the wood. <laughs> I, think, I think we fucked up. <laughs> that was definitely it. Yeah. But wow. it was a learning experience, man. And, I feel like it was and fun. the funniest part is, as I watched them put that glass in, like, redo that wall and put the glass in, I'm thinking about everything that Barrett was saying when we were uh, just looking at the closet. He was like, yeah, we're going to take this out and put this in. And yeah. I'm like... Ain't no way in hell we would have been able to do hell any no. of that. I, it would it would have been no. a lot of work. It would have been. I, I'm not saying that it, we, it wasn't even a lot of work. I, all the stuff they did, I don't know how they did it. Oh like, really? Because I do. How I fast do, they worked? He, he, he explained it to me. I mean, yeah, you was yeah. getting the day by day. So the, yeah, the first thing they did was fix our mistakes. Right. Put the support. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this guy. I hope didn't take you guys along. <laughs> then, then they cut. They cut the window. They cut the window out. Right. And they put a new like frame in. Okay. Yeah, with some support beams. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And then they built around there. They had to take out the old drywall. Put in new. They had to put drywall where bear put holes. <laughs> Well, yeah, Bear, let's talk about let's, that. Bear, let's you talk about your swinging. It's action. Not, okay, so it wasn't swinging. It was MLB's mostly it was mostly a downward. It was a downward. It was a downward push. Really, it was a jackhammer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, high school was okay. Anyway, so that had to get fixed. That had to get fixed. <laughs> Can somebody else talk? Yes. So it had to be fixed. So a couple other things had to be fixed, but all in all, I feel like. I feel like it was worth it, man. I feel yeah. like everything was worth it. Everything. Once the paint got on the walls, I feel like that's whenever we start relaxing a little bit. Yeah, man. Saw the dream come together. Yeah, the paint turned really out helped good. out with this. I think the only thing house. that didn't turn out good was my pockets, but <laughs> <laughs> I was still recovering. I was going to say, it's going to. It'll, it'll, He's like GOTSoundstudio.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Book me, book me, book me. Fuck their GoFund. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, so we're in the new studio and uh, and and bigger and better to come. Cause I do want to point out that you and I came last Saturday to put the casters on this table. Yeah. And then Trent comes in like an hour later and then he goes, uh, brings in a vacuum. He's got. I gotta suck up this metal. I was like, "Well, we swept it." And he's like, "I'm gonna suck it up because you know white boys come in here with no shoes on." <laughs> they do. <laughs> Seriously, they do. You get people coming in here with no shoes yeah. on. <laughs> you know white people don't like shoes, man. Come on, we're not about to sit here and I'm like, like, look at the train, like <laughs> shoes. Are there, why are you your blast like that? No, no. Are, are there legitimately people coming in here with no shoes on? Man, you never he know, man. Table, we I get a lot of people that take their shoes off. They get people, comfortable, people, man. I make I make it very comfortable for people. I don't. I, I, I don't disagree. So hard. I don't see people here with their shoes. Shoes off, their shirts off. Facts. You know oh. why it made listen, me laugh? Because I was like, Trent's not wrong. <laughs> so listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you one know. One time man. somebody walked in my studio with a plastic bag, and I went to use the bathroom. I come back in there. Wait, man. wait, wait! I told you not to tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I come back in. Yeah, what did he do? Well, Jack came back in, and the dude had eaten chicken wings with his shirt off, and I was in the bathroom for two minutes. <laughs> And is Bubba Sparks coming back, or is that? <laughs> I can't make it up though. He was eating chicken wings with his shirts off when I got. I mean, with his shirt off when I got out of bathroom. That's so funny. That's I had pro- to be the awkwardest thing to walk in on. I, pro- I, I got the craziest chicken story. Eating story. When I worked at CarQuest, we used to ride out with the truck drivers. Yeah, and they were all temps. So just get random whoever. Like I can drive a truck, and I yeah. have two okay. thumbs. Like whatever. Yeah. And this dude named his name was Jr. We called him Junior, and he was like. As soon as we started going down the road, took off his work shirt and took off his work pants, and he's just sitting there in like basketball pants and a wife beater. He pulls out a bag of chicken wings and he's going jump, 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 just chewing them down, throwing them fuckers out the window. <laughs> where did he pull it out from? Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah pocket, where was he? Where was he holding the I chicken guess, wings? I think that he put like I think he put his lunchbox in the truck before I got in the oh. truck. In the 
Well, his, the his funniest wings. part of that whole like, these chicken wings, and I'm just like, no. The funniest <laughs> part of that whole story was when you first said his name is Jr., but we, we call, call him Junior. Junior. <laughs> yeah, well, he did, he, they he, probably he said both. He said both. He called them both. I don't think they put Jr. <laughs> on the birth certificate. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's a double name. I, I was know. gonna say it's kind of. I assume it's got a Jr. We know a Junior. Yeah, but his name is spelled. J U N O. Yeah, but he was Junior. he was the best one to ride with just because he did weird shit. Like we Holt. we went past the uh, paper mill and he goes, "It stinks." Paper mill stinks. Yeah. He goes, right. "I'm looking at him like, what the? Are you fucking crapping yourself?" And he goes, <laughs> oh, you I thought know it was what him? You think. <laughs> oh, Jr. Done shit his pants. <laughs> he called himself Jr. <laughs> then we went to a store and he had to go take a crap and he went in there and he took it forever and he came back. He goes, "I was like, everything go okay? Just messing with him." <laughs> yeah, and he was like. Yep, didn't flush. Left my old calling card. They'll come in there and be like, damn it, JR was here. <laughs> Probably spelled his name with, with the shit. Uh, <laughs> I just want to go back. So hold on. The guy's name that you you know, his name is Junior. His name is Junior. I know, yeah. I know. Is it the same Junior I'm thinking about? Yeah. Okay. Chapin, so yeah. his name is Junior. Like his, his parents name, named no. him Junior. No, no, no. That's his nickname, but his, he goes out. by it. He's the second. He spells it out. He spells it out. Yeah. So yeah. when he signs his Signer, it's J U N I O R. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Shout out to Junior, man. <laughs> I know his. I know his first name. But I'm slightly I, like, uncomfortable. Nobody, with that. I don't know anybody that calls him. By nobody his first calls name. him that. Chris, that's my uncle. They call my uncle that too. They call him my uncle, Uncle Junior. Yeah. Oh, they, do, they do call you. But he is yeah. he is a junior or yeah, his, he's a junior. Okay, yeah. see that makes sense though. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, but because if I if I, I don't know why, but if I if if I meet somebody and they're like, oh, his name's Junior, I was like, oh, you're named after your dad. No. <laughs> Wait, that's a name though, isn't it? Junior. Every time I think I, of the name, I don't junior, think a, I don't, it can't be a lot. I'm gonna of name one. If I have two sons, world. I'm gonna name one junior and one senior. Every, <laughs> junior and senior. Then the third. And if I have a daughter, sophomore. you should name your other son Senior instead of Senior. <laughs> that's like, that, that's some George Foreman shit. George. Yeah. Exactly. That's like, exactly yeah, what I was thinking. Right. It's my son George. My son, other son George. That's my oldest name. About to cancel trick, y'all. No, <laughs> The dudes who played for South Carolina, Gerald Dixon, Gerald Dixon Jr. What's their dad's oh, yeah. name? Gerald Dixon. Motherfucker, then there's only one junior. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The one I never got was... Uh, I never That's got true. William and Bill... Yeah, how those how those make, don't make sense. And well, what's the other one with Dick? Richard, Rob, well, Richard, Robert, Richard, Richard, yeah, and Dick. Richard, uh, yeah. Well, Robert's Bob. Yeah, yeah, Robert's Bob. But like, because yeah, my brother's name is is Robert William. So, <laughs> like, it, like when Billy Bob, Bob Thornton Bill. came out, came out, we were like, we would, my mom and Bob I would Bill. joke, we would joke, we call him Billy Bob or yeah. Bobby Bill, you know. But it didn't, it didn't stick. James, what if his name <laughs> was <laughs> Chill? Don't be, don't get Robert canceled. Richard William. Bob, Bob Dick Bill Bobby 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 Bob. Dick Bill There was a G- I, I, I saw uh, At work one Bob time Bob Dick Bill One dude's name Was James Crow James Crow C-R-O-W-E Nope No nope. E So his name's Jim Crow Oh yeah wow. And his parents oh, yeah. Had to fucking know Oh that. they knew that what they Well was that's doing. like The parents that Named their kid Adolf And that just happens Their last name's Hitler And it's like It's like no Come like, on How often does that happen yeah, oh, no, 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 They knew been Hitler long, Longer than your kids They're they on the fucking retreat They knew what they were doing As soon as he turned 18 He went to court Like I'm fucking now uh, John Smith I'm done Hey y'all ever seen that Franklin Leibowitz Call me Mr. Goldman He had to cancel it so bad Yeah I I'm in class to be Jewish. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen that uh, Family Guy where they uh, was talking about signing the uh, declarations of independent, and it was like John Foot Penis is Hancock now. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> why? That's why. <laughs> why a foot penis? <laughs> 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 Family guy kills. It's, they do. They, they do. Slay. They're underrated. <laughs> underrated, man. Uh, I, I guess. Uh, I wanted to. I, I guess I wanted to move on to get into some topics, man. Yeah, what you got say, for us, man? Well, you know, Trump's coming to uh, Columbia this weekend. So by the time this airs, if you if you smell that smell, it'll leave in twenty four hours. And like it's not the mill. It's yeah. not the paper mill. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Mill. Yeah, Donald Junior. Donald Trump is kicking off his campaign in South Carolina at the state house this weekend. I mean, that's and, a good place to kick it off for him. Yeah, it's correct. It's limited. It's in, got McMaster. It's limited in size. Remember too. when y'all seceded from? The we need union? to go to t- oh. Tennessee next. <laughs> 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 we need to start picking all this. Then space. they might go to Daniel's house. Who's that? I think you know. 
It's a it's a good oh, man. It's a good place to go if you're he, fucking. He who idiot. shall not be named. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> A new bear would get you. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it clicked. <laughs> it was right there, man. You know, I had to, uh, had to sleep. It. If you yeah. like one, you like the other one. You can't like one and not the other one. He's right? just sitting there true. like, are you going to write a poem? This not, guy's not so bad. <laughs> He's going to show up to the show up to the governor's house. Hey, man, I got, I got one of those for you. Even Don Trump like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> It does lead to some other questions. I wonder. I wonder who else will be in attendance. That uh, Nikki Haley got to be right. No, she yeah. she's probably going to run for president. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. But I saw yeah. her recently on uh, you Fox, her? and she Hell was no. awful. The fuck? You yeah. see what she changed? You see how much she paid on curtains? You don't like her? <laughs> you don't like her? <laughs> no. Clemson grad. Bam. That's uh, cool. We, hey, we, we all we got him. We, we all got him. We all got him. Fair enough. Fair enough. If you want to talk about grads, you want to see about that, that white chick from South Carolina that was using the N-word downtown. Did I guess you see what? That? Guess what? Oh, yeah. I did see that. <laughs> University of South Carolina is like, bitch ain't a student. <laughs> oh, she wasn't a student? Nope. <laughs> Lied. <laughs> Imagine that. She was smart. Oh, maybe then. they dropped her. No, no, no. She was. They, no, they, she lied. No, she was uh, smart because she probably, if she gave, she knew the girl was taping her. She's not going to give her actual, her, her actual factual school? school that she goes to. Well, there's a yeah. dude on TikTok who doxes, doxes racists and they put it out there for her. She had 18,000 Instagram followers. Jeez. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's probably popping. I don't know how popping she is now. I mean, they probably. They, I mean, the clan's probably going to give her a follow too. So they're going to love her. You know, in the South, there's no, probably some people no like, well, clan. she can say what she wants. <laughs> and Take it to Twitter. I was glad there were a lot of people can like, we, wow, record her. Also, <laughs> just just for, for future references, can we can we hyphen that with the K clan rather than? Is there another clan? Yeah, the Scottish clans that those start uh, with a C. Bear, we from South Carolina. Yeah, the for, only clan we like know. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's the, the clan. It's, I can't do it. The only clan we know is. You know, <laughs> the only ones out there. That's nah. the only one we know. Wu Tang. Uh, nah, we- <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's what we- <laughs> no, it's not what we know. They're not out there throwing gang signs. We're like, the, we're the clan. I don't think the Wu Tang clans ever even came here for a concert. Oh, you, you know? know who's not going to be in attendance on the uh, rally this weekend? The Wu Tang Clan. Correct. They will not. But I did <laughs> hear. Correct. I did hear. It's very true. I did hear. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Trent's, Trent's found one. one. I love it. I one love it. Hey, look, there's, man. there's one. I told you got all the. I told you got all the important look, buttons over there, there's, man. There's, there's that one. No, nah, I want that one. And uh, and there's and there's that one. See, Bear, that was a sorry joke. So I hit him with the womp womp womp. <laughs> what? And, and then Bear, got, I got this, man. I'm calling Red Man right now. <laughs> Get off my buttons. <laughs> They want want me your fucking motto. So yeah, so Lindsey Graham's gonna be there this weekend. Uh, there <laughs> is uh, <laughs> Governor McMaster's is gonna be there. Okay. Representative Fry from uh, I knew I he'd know, be there. That? Yeah, Russell Fry. Yeah, oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's. I gotta be honest. I can't remember where he's from. I know that he primaried somebody. Nut. <laughs> uh, and apparently, uh, among Republicans, Trump only has a fifty-four percent approval rating. And it's dropping. Well, good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying wow. it's still too high. Well, 54 is going still. Democrat this year. Are you? I said he is. Oh, he is. Trump is. Oh, <laughs> I, I see. You were. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was all about Trump. I was all about McMaster. Seen the error of my ways. Yeah. So <laughs> no, no, no. So cut the podcast. Trump. Trump continues to be a drag on the party. Uh, he continues to be plagued with bad news. Mar-a-Lago document scandal, Georgia investigation into the election tampering, DOG investigation into insurrection and sedition, Grass dying where wife buried, tax evasion. <laughs> And all around, just a shithead of a human being. So, ultimately, I, uh, at night, as actually. far as as far as the polling goes, it sounds like DeSantis beats Trump pretty handedly. I mean, in Florida, maybe. And being shitty. Oh no, no! I think they're pretty equal. In that <laughs> one. I don't think. Yeah, no. And like in voting, like if, <laughs> what are they learning? There was in a school? primary. Math. Take it out. I just don't. I don't understand. No one is registered as a candidate. Like, why are there polls for something that there isn't a re- right. like? No one's. No one's an actual candidate. No, yet. Just because you said I'm going to be a candidate. Like, well, they call people and go, so if these two dickheads ran against each other, who would you vote for? Who would you vote for? Do you want to hear? They're calling those gerrymandered lines. Do do y'all want to hear something else about Trump before we go to break? Yeah. What's that? So this weekend, he held a uh, golf tournament at his uh, Mar a Lago, uh, or I guess the the national whatever down in Florida, West Palm Beach. Not live golf tour. He won. 
He won his own tournament. Oh, somebody oh, yeah. was sandbagging. He, he, <laughs> he, That's he, like Drake holding uh, basketball uh, tournaments at his yeah, house. Like you know, like I won. You, know, you better <laughs> not guard me. <laughs> I heard somebody in Columbia had a had a podcast award ceremony. And he won all <laughs> of the awards. It is. What, this is all fact. Did we get the invite? No, we didn't get the invite. But people that did get the invite, they were pissed. Everybody, he asked all his nominees to donate for the awards too. Hold on, I I didn't get an I didn't get a memo on this. Well, it's because you weren't going to win, Barrett. I, I, you know, <laughs> he won all look, the categories. Look, it's a, precedent. look, before before you know, if I have to stand up on stage, I'm going to make sure to say this is a group effort. There's only one there. trophy. I'll translate that. <laughs> this isn't all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going to need four trophies if we win anything. Yeah, he uh, so We're so fighting, so, right. so Trump declared himself the winner. He missed the first day of the tournament completely because he was attending. And still won. Yeah, a whole while. Well, Explain how. I so guess it's all birdies today. <laughs> he was attending. He was attending the the funeral for uh, Diamond and Silk, the uh, Diamond, the one that passed away. She yeah. she lived in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and she mm. passed away apparently last week. So he was attending her funeral, so he couldn't make it Saturday for the uh, for the tournament. He out there at midnight making it up. <laughs> no, what he did was apparently he had a really great round on Thursday before he flew up to North Carolina on Saturday. Uh, had a really great round, decided that was the score he was going to use for his Saturday round, yeah. uh, to which I don't think anyone was around for. But uh, apparently he told uh, reporters that he played a strong round on Thursday, two days before the tournament started, and decided that that was going to count as a Saturday score. Said that it was a great honor to have won one of the most, uh, one of the best courses in the country in Palm Beach County uh, uh, in his uh, truth post. Uh, he said, the reason that I announced this on Fabulous Truth is that, and this is a quote, in a very real way, it serves as a physical exam on how much tougher, period, weird, uh, you need strength and stamina to win, and I have strength and stamina. Most others don't. You also need strength and stamina to govern, end quote. Let's as, ask Stormy, as say about I was about golf. to say, ask Stormy Daniels about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was <laughs> a one and a half stamina. pumper, and he just laid right over. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, he he went out there and they're like, all right, Mr. Trump, that's plus six. He's like, make it minus seven. No, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. The caddy was at the hole, and every time he shot, he had to run and get the ball, throw it in there. Like, you made it. I assume he plays golf. <laughs> I don't golf. think he pays him enough for that shit. Though. I assume he plays golf the same way he does his taxes. Everything is a devaluation, you know, mm, so in order, yeah. to, in order to make it look like – you know, he's not making that much money in, in golf. You want the lowest score, and that's what he does. He's like, when we get to the end, I'm going to average the score, or you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're negative 50. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Trump uh, Trump is uh, going to announce his candidacy, or I guess he's going to kick off his campaign, uh, which I think is mostly just for a money grab. How many people you think is going to show up? I'm guessing there will probably be I don't know between five and ten thousand. I do too. I think well, it, I might, it might be like fifteen thousand. Amount. I think it's, it's, gonna be surprising, it's, gonna think it's, gonna it's be never surprising crowd. because when, uh, I remember when Trump was president and, and he got off at the airport and I drove past the airport. Man, it was people out there right right in front of the building holding up signs saying, "Oh yeah, we love you." Oh duh, yeah, duh, man, they they go crazy. When well, Trump it's gets because here, bro. it's because I've seen a lot of twenty twenty four uh, flags. Oh, oh they've been selling them in shaping. Of, they were selling. <laughs> they were selling them in twenty twenty. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. They, uh, he 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 hadn't even lost the election yet, and they, <laughs> they were already. <laughs> they knew what was happening. <laughs> Running it up, <laughs> running it up. Third turn. Well, that's like that guy. That's like that guy that Jordan Kleppard interviewed, where he had like the Trump uh, the Trump family succession of of the presidency, where it was Trump twenty twenty or Trump twenty sixteen to twenty twenty, and then it was uh, uh, Ivana Ivanka from or Ivana well, whoever yeah. the daughter. Mm -hmm. It was her from twenty twenty four to twenty twenty eight, and Jordan Klepper goes points out. He goes he goes hold on. So who was elected in twenty 24. He goes. He goes. He or 2020. He goes. He goes. What, uh, Trump. And he goes. No, no, no. This is only four years. <laughs> That's 2016 to 2020. And then Ivana is only or Ivanka is only 2024 to 2028. And he's like, who are the people that are in between? He's he, like, he That's not me. right. No. <laughs> but he had a T-shirt. Goddamn Joe Biden. That's who we went and spray painted it in after he lost. <laughs> yeah. Well, in, in Ivana now, you could he she wouldn't touch. You keep fucking, saying Ivana too. It's a, I think it's Ivanka. Ivanka. Ivanka's the daughter. The daughter. The daughter. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 buried wife is in uh, Ivana. Ivana. Okay, so Ivanka. Just say the hot one, so we all know who we're talking about. Is she though? 
compared to the rest of them? She looks like Donald Trump. If you had to pick body. between Eric and Ivanka. I'm about to say, like, who are you choosing out of <laughs> out of his kids? Why is it Eric? <laughs> Does he, At least oh, you get party with right. Don Jr. What's his other... <laughs> what, what, yeah. You about to bring the little boy into this? <laughs> uh, what's... Uh, what, what is... What's the other sister's name? It's uh, Ivanka. Brittany. Is it? No, I don't think it's Brittany. Tiffany. Tiffany. That's what it is. It's, it's Tiffany Trump. Of course, yeah. it's Tiffany. Tiffany Trump. It's Anthony. But now, now Ivanka will yeah. not t- touch Donald Trump with like a yeah. thirty-nine and a half foot fucking pole. Uh, yeah, she, she was like, "I'm not doing anything." Yeah, they've completely either. sworn themselves out of politics. Jared right? Kushner just comes out of the mud like, "I'll do it." I bet. Until they need a loan. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, once they once they need a loan, they'll probably show back. Dad, I'm buy those fancy shoes without me helping you. Dad, please. Well, I'm going to change subject. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about before we go to break is uh, David Crosby passed away uh, last week. Actually, while we were recording the episode, we found out. I, I found out that night that uh, that he passed away, age 81. Of course, uh, he, you're going to have to tell Crosby us still and Nash. You don't yeah, know, Crosby that. stills Nash and Young. No, no. Crosby stills and Nash. Yeah. You ever heard of the birds? The bird, bird, bird. No. Uh, to be fair, this is the whitest music you could possibly listen to. Well, when we go on his top five and he asks us who our favorite bands are, I'm going to be like, no, I wouldn't ask Nash. you that because I already know they're going to be the whitest. <laughs> See, I like Steven, I, I've never listened to a lot of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, but I like Steven Stills. He had Treetop tree Flyer. What's yeah. their number one song you know we have to know? Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, yeah. play nah. a song for I told you it's super white. It, yeah, it, uh, this is okay. So, Barrett, like, Barrett, if they didn't play uh, at, at warm up to super everything, it's a super turn, turn, <laughs> turn. Have they ever, ha, have they ever played him on Family Guy? <laughs> I definitely think he's probably. I, I was gonna say, I think he's been a character on Family yeah. Guy. So, oh. do you know who Melissa Etheridge is? No, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's gosh. he donated sperm to her. She's a lesbian, donated sperm to her to have a kid because yeah. he was so talented musically. Yeah, so what, she thought her what's son the kid doing right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, is he not in the music business? That's, that's a waste of sperm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Does she have a kid? Yes, yeah, with him. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Well, how old is the kid? I think he's like my age. We'll look it up. <laughs> if he's not in the music business, that, that's, right, that's right, a waste of sperm. Like, Melissa Etheridge, come to my window. window. Nope. nope. All right. Just so they didn't play these at shaping and warm ups. So, like, so, 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 so as a, do y'all so know who Polo G is? <laughs> Yeah, do you know who Lil Uzi Burt is? Yeah, Barrett? he had the diamond in his head. Okay, okay. Oh, Bear, yeah. this feels like the worst memorial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. Do you know who Nipsey Hussle is? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, we're okay. good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Take off. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. I, yeah. Is he alive or dead? Dead. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, I'm not. I'm laughing because one. a news article came out as P and P- oh. B Rock. No, I don't know that one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But I was, he, he's dead. I don't think he was in the birds, though. Oh. <laughs> well, bird is the word, Barry. That's the only. That's, that's the only song we know. Bird is the word. Here's real quick. Here's another little fact about uh, 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 David Crosby. Uh, in 1994, he had a kidney transplant that was paid for by Phil Collins. You know who Phil Collins is? I do know who. There we go, man. Because they just did the. Can we? I can feel it calling in the air. See, but see, Barry, that's real white music right there, boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I, I feel like somewhere I feel like somewhere there's a black artist saying that was mine probably. maybe and his daughter maybe. I feel like probably. that's probably I mean, that's true like, that's like every Elvis song but we can talk about that later yeah, yeah. Phil Collins. Barry. <laughs> yeah, y'all right. talked about yeah. the Nepo babies the Phil Collins' daughter is the star of Emily in Paris who, what is oh, that? Really? It's yeah. a Netflix. Netflix. You don't know who movie you know Emily in show. Paris. Oh man, you got to get on it. He's with a white girl, so he's watched Emily in Paris. Oh yeah. Uh, well, my girl doesn't want to watch it because I started without her, so she won't watch it. <laughs> Trent is a white girl. Uh, on that note, we're gonna take a break. We'll come back. Right. This is the Shape and Grab podcast. <laughs> Hi fellas, this is Prasad Parab from Amchi, Mumbai, India. You're listening to Barrett, Zach, and Trent on the All About Nothing podcast. Hi, welcome back to the All About Nothing podcast. Barrett Gruber, Zach King, Trent Clark, and Neek the Geek. So, Neek Lewis, the Geek Lewis. We're starting uh, the... I'm actually graduating to Neek the Genius. Neek the Genius. In this spot. Oh, okay. I'm going to change my... Can't do Everything. that, man. People are going to ask you to fix their iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got a few people I can send your direction. <laughs> Barrett's in the front of that line. <laughs> no, no, I just, I just get tired of uh, people asking me how. Yeah, you know, why, why oh, can't yeah, my yeah, phone yeah. do this or my iPad's doing this or like Google it? Just Google. You're it. like, when did I get thirty mothers? Please leave. 
because that's the mother questions well or the or the elderly father questions how do i download a file onto my iphone i was like you can't impossible (laughs) well you can't you can they have file sure i know but i'm not going into that so (laughs) that's how you save space in your phone so hit control alt delete do you see the command menu (laughs) we are we are back in the new studio i say back we're back from break in the new studio, Correct. and uh, and again, if you're watching us on YouTube, then chances are uh, the view might look a little weird, and it's probably going to change uh, at some probably by the time we record the next. It's one. It's going to change every yeah, time. It's going to be perfect. Well, I don't know perfect. You know, nothing's perfect, but well, it's going to be great. You're still going to have us in yeah. the frame, so it's sound perfect amazing. is hard. It's going to look amazing next time. That neon burst is no. perfect. <laughs> but I already cut the power off in the old building, so we're not going back. Yeah. Well, I don't. I Trent mean, said well, he had to fight a, a homeless guy in kung fu combat to get him to go away from the back door. Yeah, we heard you had a homeless guy in the back door. Yeah, I told when him was that? <laughs> when, no, when did he have the fight? Was Nick no, no, he had a fight. Uh, out. No, no, no. <laughs> he put a little ump on that. Just, <laughs> we can tell stories about this building now. When, when no, he, he, he was. I got so many videos of people trying to break in my building. Really? How, how many? How many? You fig- how many times you figure somebody tried to break in? Listen, it's about to get real graphic. You ready? All okay. Right, so I have a video. I'm gonna go down the list. So I have a video of somebody. Well, before I even had the cameras, and I was doing the little the lock pad. Yeah, yeah. I was keeping the key in. Yeah. Someone broke that, trying to get the key out. They couldn't get the key, so they left it on the doorknob, even though it was broke. Oh. So I was able to get the key. All right, and then <laughs> that was the first time. Then I got the cameras. Uh huh. And when I got the cameras, the cameras had blind spots. And then I had homeless people going through the trash cans. Yeah, it I remember that. I, I saw. Remember I saw that. them doing. Uh, I saw the aftermath of that. One. I thought you. Were like, oh yeah, I seen them doing. Okay. It. I'm like, Look. you ain't slapping. Oh, bro, I was like, <laughs> hey. what y'all doing? <laughs> and here's the best part right here. I start bringing my dog to the studio. Right. And Trent got mad at me for not cleaning up after my dog. Mm-hmm. Correct. She pooped outside. Correct. <laughs> But listen, Tristan, right. but listen, <laughs> it played out perfect because the next person that tried to break into my studio stepped, stepped in this shit. shit. <laughs> stepped in this shit. That's so I got crazy. a video of them trying to get the shit off there. <laughs> and if they had got in, you'd be like, motherfucker, where's the size plug yeah. with Dita? Fact. <laughs> you can tell by the shit stain. <laughs> and he walks with a limp because it wasn't, it was, yeah. It wasn't a per- perfect footstep. Yeah, it wasn't a exactly. perfect footstep. Okay. Yeah, and then the third, and then the, I don't know what time we on, but the next time after that, they came to the front door, and I guess they didn't know what a doorbell cam was, and they was, like, trying their hardest to it get in. It lights up blue. Yeah. And then that time I spoke to him, I was like, hey, what are you doing? He was like, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. My, my fiance threw her wet, uh, engagement yeah, ring out the window. Super ass lie. So I came to look for it. I was like, on my front porch? I was like, I'm already on the way, man. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, I'm bringing 45 friends with me. Let's do this. Like, I remember I, I remember the video you posted of the two yeah, that, kids. That that's the to, next one. That's the next one. They man. tried to get in with like a uh, hanger wire. Yeah, yeah. Tried to cover their that. faces and shit. Yeah. And then this woman, mm-hmm. I guess she was homeless. She was on her period. Oh. So she like. God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she, she was using a water right? hose to clean herself uh, right there on camera. But do you blame her though? The hose? The hose. Was there water hooked I don't, up? I don't think I can hate on her for that. The lady needs the hose that damn bad. Take it. Yeah, yeah just but cut it off. I mean, there's here, plenty here, of houses listen. that's up the street that well, you can use. <laughs> so the, listen, the hey, very that sounds, last that one. That sounds like clearly no option. Yeah, yeah, listen, <laughs> the very last one. And we're probably struggling with that now. I don't know because there's no cameras there anymore. But yeah. And the cares have gone right out the fucking door. Yeah, I don't care. I, well, I need to get my vending machine, but after that, I don't really well, care. Ain't yeah, nobody about to steal no damn vending machine. Plus, it's been empty when and we I, were yeah, there. Yeah, I took so. all the quarters out. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, you just scared. Say you're scared. I, mean, I'm scared, vending machine. I want my vending machine. I paid a lot for it. But anyway, there, this dude came by while we were here, mm-hmm. and he was like, I don't know, it was like a scene from Dirty Dancing or something. He was. He was I he was doing actually, kung fu. He was or was it Greece? But he was like mad and he was just swinging and play fighting in the air. Is that the guy you were talking about? Yes, it's yeah. the same guy. Yeah. So that's why I had to try, go out there and challenge. No, I don't know. Trent was over. I was on. Trent's an idiot. Trent was over the phone. Please step away from the building. Like out loud, me was like, "No, don't do that." I was like, "Yeah, motherfucker, you gotta get away from the building." Please step away from the building. So two days later. It was like seven in the morning. You had texted me and yeah. I was already at the studio. Yeah, yeah. And you that's why I was there. Um that's seven in the morning. I see him with a stick in his hand or something, something big in his hand. Yeah. And he's like 
looking around and then he like goes behind the building so I just jump out of the bed and just run, like drive yeah, yeah, to yeah. the studio to see what's going on. You know where he was at the very following next week? Where? At that goddamn gas station that we always go to. That was down. He was there. He he was um yeah. talking to some other homeless people, but he was acting crazy yeah. too. But he he definitely has some mental problems. I don't that know, is Ma- some fucking stress that I'm sure you're glad to be done with. I'm yeah, so, absolutely. You know how many times I mean that that's the doorbell people. the doorbell cam has woke me up out of my sleep, and I've seen people at my door. So I'm like racing to the studio. Yeah, now. and yeah. I was only like four minutes away from the studio, so I would go every time it went off. Yeah, yeah. Muff and I were there one day, and. uh we saw one of the guys coming to uh, the, like we we saw him come down the street like we we watched him on the cameras go down he came down the driveway and then disappeared next to the building because there was a blind spot between the camera in the back and the camera in the front door yeah. and uh and i'm just standing sitting there i was like muff where'd he go and muff said muff said i i don't know so i i, I walked over towards the back door and i opened the back door and sure enough he's rummaging through the trash and it's mm. like and I looked at him and I said, I said, there's nothing but trash in there. And he goes, he goes, oh, I, I thought I dropped something in there. <laughs> because on. you were over there earlier just making sure the lid was on. <laughs> like, mean, what but, the fuck are you but, doing? But, but we can't really blame them because, bro, that is like homeless central. Like, how many yeah. times have yeah, y'all girl. seen, One like, how, how many times have you seen, like, panhandlers out there asking people for money at that? Oh, yeah, that right stops? there. At that so point it, we're right and down they the street destroy, from it. They destroyed the building. Like almost next to correct, it. like they destroyed. Well, it. I know y'all seen it. They broke into those glass windows so many you times. Go, you go downtown and you find like remember like like high school like five points. Yeah, yeah. Like you would throw cigarettes down and you do. Oh, they're on it. Done. They're like you didn't even finish this. Oh yeah, they're emptying they're on that it. shit. Like, I'm gonna make a good old fucking stogie out of this shit. Facts, yeah. man. You, I, I'm not seeing homeless people. Like I'm not trying to make fun of them, but I'm not seeing you know the little. Little cigarette smoker that you put the cigarettes in, and it's like black. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. man. Like, come on, man. Like, One I'm day, not saying it's a bad thing, but you get what I'm saying. They're they're in a bad position, and I can't blame them for trying to rummage through no. trash because Plus, it's like you, you get the end yeah. of a split. They're like, man, little my bonus. whole thing is my whole thing is these days is why are they homeless. Yeah, you know no, that's, that's. I mean, it's I plenty of bad for every homeless. Person. It's plenty of reasons why. Yeah. I mean, a lot of why, veterans. Yeah. yeah, well, that I, I mentally. But, but you'll find those around downtown because that's where that's where the missions the are. Bases. That's, yeah. that's where the VA. Is, all of that. Correct. You'll find the, the veterans but they gotta, downtown. They, they'll they'll get they'll eventually get over here too. Yeah. Like, well, let me, but listen, so, can I bring prime this? example? Prime example. My bad. No, you got so we were playing basketball out there. I think you were there. Mm-hmm. We were playing basketball out there one day, and it's doing. Uh, and this woman on a motorcycle came up to us and was like, "Hey, man, have you seen this such and such guy mm-hmm. around?" And I was like, "Might be somebody." Yeah, I think I seen him on the camera a couple times. He was like, "That's my brother, man." He's like, "Our father li- literally lives right down there. Like you could see his house at the point." He was like, "He yeah. breaks into our father's house every day." He was like, "Man, if you if he ever comes over here, call the police, man. He, he's nothing but trouble." Yeah. Like, yeah. Man. I mean, but yeah, like like you're saying, this is just a lot of mental things. And say what you're about to say is that. Well, I don't know about y'all's TikTok algorithms and shit, but you have the people that like uh, on TikTok that go out and like help homeless people. They're like, "What do you want to eat and shit?" Which yeah, I, I think is that. good. Yeah, that's dope. But that's a fucking game too, right? No, I don't. I don't. I don't like that. Only because right. I don't they like do it on like, camera. Yeah, don't do it yeah. on camera. That's it. So do it out of kind of your fucking your heart. heart. Yeah. So they're making hand over fist, making millions of videos, making millions of millions views, of views yep. off these videos. Correct. And then turn around and be like, "I gave this man fifty dollars." Mm-hmm. It's a tax like, write off. Yeah. Dude, yeah. And that's it's exactly tax write off. Yeah, like, but he made a million dollars and gave yeah. a homeless guy fifty, 50 bucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, and there's there's dudes like the dudes who drive through drive throughs, and he's like, "I'm gonna bless them today, thousand dollars." I mean that that's different. You think that's different because from a homeless person? If he only because only because. They're legit already at work. They didn't know this was going to happen. So that I look at that as blessing somebody. That's not the same as a homeless person. Sure. I'm about to put a camera in your face. Yeah. Type well, the, stuff. the, the two I mean? scenarios that made me careful of giving homeless people money. One, I tried to give this dude $5 and he was like, that it? Oh, well, see, that's nah, not that cool. Oh, man, fuck you. He must have knew another, you had it on you. And then another time. <laughs> like, right? Okay, so Young if you pull out the shot. money, I if you, you pull out the money piece, clip, you know, you know, no, like, I pull out. Listen, I don't carry a lot of cash. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't no, carry I a lot of cash. So if I, I pull know, out I money, it's gonna be what's <laughs> in there. <laughs> I'll say you didn't have a car tonight. Come on. I, and I definitely don't carry big bills. No. So I pull out a five and I give it to him. He's like, "Is that it?" And I was like, "Okay." Okay, I got you. He's like, "I see you, big baller." Another time, I gave a homeless man money. You know, I'm not. I don't support bad habits because bad habits got you here. Yeah, you know bad habits. <laughs> I'll tell you so this. I'm trying to feed you, man. I'm trying to make sure you make it another night. This man go. This man 
races to the corner store and buys beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, dog, mm-hmm. you'll never get another beer. Never hate him but you got to think, beer keeps them warm. Uh, beer keeps them warm. I don't I don't know if that's really a It's going to dehydrate them. Yeah. <laughs> keeps them warm. I, I, the thing is, too, like, I don't judge a motherfucker. Does he like, need to be warm in August? And then I had this dude. Then <laughs> I had this dude. Then I had this dude haggle me at a pizza place. Stop. Like, yeah, he, he haggled me. I was like, he was like, "Yo, can I get some money?" I was like, "Man, unfortunately, I don't have money, but you can have a slice of my pizza, bro." Mm. I give him a slice of pizza. He eats it and he just hangs around. Can I get a soda? <laughs> he hangs around and he starts talking some of that shit. pepper. <laughs> I, I had a girlfriend at the time, and like he's talking. You had a girlfriend. Shit. He was, was talking bullshit, shit bullshit. with my girlfriend, mm. and they like. She had a pitcher of beer, you know what I'm saying? He was like, give me that beer. And I was like, Dang. hey, man, don't you think you asked Dang. for enough, man? You got some food, bro. Hey, big man, let me borrow a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> let me hold a dollar. Hey, big man, let me hold a dollar. Yeah, he that, talk, first of all, he talking shit get to my girlfriend, dollars. but my girlfriend was drunk, so she was she was talking shit back. But mm. like, So my other story about uh, people like that, as far as not like, you know, I don't think it was homeless. So I, the, there's a speedway. We'll or, just say people in bad situations. Yeah, there's a, a across, uh, I guess it was on 378. So right near, there's a speedway or a gas station that's right next to the the hospital on 378. And uh, I, w- I had actually just left a movie. Shell? Yeah, it might be a shell. I can't remember. Either way. Yeah, but I, I, so I, so I, I, I pulled over to get gas on the way home. And uh, and when I did, uh, I hadn't even gotten out of the car yet. But I, I my window was down. And the guy walks. Uh, this guy walks over, and he said, and he puts his hands on the on the on the on the window so to keep me from rolling it up. And uh, he says, uh, he says, "Hey, can I borrow? Can I can I have twenty dollars to fill up my car? My my wife just had a baby, and we're on our way back to Charleston, but we mm. don't have enough money to fill up the car." And I told, I looked at him, and I, <laughs> so, and of course, I had I, I just left the movie theater, so of course, I'm still wearing my gun. I got thirteen uh, grand. <laughs> So so I just so I just I just I just casually get went down to my ankle and pulled it up to my to pull it up and I said I said do me a favor I said step back away from the door I said and, and let me step out and we can talk and so he he steps back and I roll the window up and I, I I put the gun back down in my pocket and then I, I step out and I said look I I don't have any problem giving you twenty dollars I said I I have no problem with just filling up your car right. I said but you know I, I'm not about to I'm give not, you I'm not going to give you cash yeah. I, I can fill I'll up your like, car man I don't like your approach. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, it was, it was bad. very bad. But because he said his wife was in the car with their newborn baby, and I and I said, which one? Which one's your car? And he looks. It's a fire. Baby. It's a Firebird. Mm. So it's two seats at yeah. best. And I said, I said, where's the baby? And he goes, oh, it, baby's in her lap. And I said, I said, all right. Well, if you drive the car over here, then I'll 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 pump twenty dollars into it. He he looks at me and looks looks me up and down, and then walks back to his car. I got in his car and he drove off. Mm. That was it. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a situation that Fuck I had. Co- Columbiana used to be this couple that ran this big scam that we found out on the news later. But um, it was basically a guy, um, and his family. He had his whole family out there, and they would go. To, they would catch people outside the movie theater, and he walked up to me and he was like, "Hey, um, my family just got uh, my house just burnt down. They got us in this hotel." For um, for like a week because they're trying to situate our well, find, figure out the situation what to do with our house. So basically, he was like, "You have anything that you can give towards um, us getting another hotel room just for the time being?" I'm like, you know, he caught me at a good time, so I gave him twenty dollars. And then later on, at the um, later on on the news segment, they had this whole segment about that family, and I was like, oh, oh my. you know, I would be like, I like. Come stay with me. I got an extra. Nah, I got extra room I and see what his. You ever shot his, a flick? He's like, okay. Hey, he like, okay, that's great. You ever been with a black man? Yeah. No. <laughs> you ever seen a grown man's penis? No, I wasn't here. No, nah, I was just trying to call him out on this bullshit. Y'all going crazy. Man. I know. I know. I was about to be like, man, what's your wife look like? I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. <laughs> you ever I been was just saying, you come stay with me, and he'd be like, great. I was like, nah, I'll just how man, desperate? How much you need for the room? <laughs> You well, know, that, that, ain't, ain't nobody <laughs> fuck around like California, uh, like destitutes. I don't, I don't oh know. yeah, yeah, yeah. California homeless people is way. Oh better. my god, Calis, Calis, California homeless people are. They don't fuck around. They smoke ruthless. more weed. They smoke I more see, weed than normal people. I in saw South Carolina. a <laughs> homeless <laughs> man take a shit in broad day on Hollywood Boulevard. Seen it, been on there. the sidewalk. 
<laughs> and then I saw on the same boulevard, <laughs> I saw two guys smoking Eating crack. That shit. <laughs> smoking yeah. crack. And yeah. how did I know it was crack? Because I smelled it. I was mm-hmm. See, you went to Southern California. I was like uh, Northern California. I was in San Jose. And I was deep in Hollywood. I saw, so, I saw, I saw, we went, we came back to the hotel. We were all getting off the bus. This butt ass naked lady just burst out the Hilton doors. I'm telling you, bro. Naked. See, Dirty I, as shit. I don't know what y'all are talking about. My town car picked me up from LAX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of, of course, your to, town car, took to, Hold on, took me to Pas- Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking like because like right off Piney Grove, there keeps <laughs> there's a bunch of panhandling people out there, mm-hmm. like with their signs and shit. I'm yeah. like, I keep thinking that South Park episode where Cartman has to get all the homeless people out of South oh, Park. Oh yeah, yeah. Because they're like California is kind of the home nest. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like, bro, does somebody do that? They there? are. They're like, they're, yeah, they're California like, is very. Very nice to the homeless, dude. They build castles out of cardboard and two by four. Correct. They're giving them some tiny houses. No, I'm not talking about that. Like tent city and shit. They do do that. Yeah. They, yeah. I'm talking about they have built their own. They're like goddamn hobo mansion. Yeah. Like, mm. like yeah. under yeah, the man, bridge. You talking about the guy that was under the bridge? The, it was on the side of the bridge. Oh yeah. On the one oh yeah. The, no, like, they'll they'll build into the infrastructure that the yeah. uh, the, the state has already provided. Oh, the like, there's a two twenty under this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Get out. Yeah, like, I saw it from my town car. <laughs> yeah. and, and this is no way, shape, or form any disrespect. You got to do what you got to do. No, of course not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can't like, disrespect. There, there, like I said, there's people in an bad situations. Yeah. Yeah, situations. Oh, I mean. And there, and there are those people sh- that put I, themselves in situations. I, had, dude, I was yeah. so bad off living with my dad and my brother where they had cut the power off and shit. Oh, mm-hmm. no, that's what I was going to yeah. say. Is it, I, I imagine that at some point in our lives. Yeah. Correct. That we've been somebody in the we know. Oh, that, man. That, you go Je- get low. Shout man. out Jefferson Cash, man. He let me sleep on his floor and record people out his closet. Man, shout out to goddamn <laughs> Ambria for letting me live with her yeah. on Piney Grove, goddamn it, because I was damn near oh, homeless. Man. Ambria, the tattoo. Yes. Tattoo artist. Yep, yep. Yeah. Shout out to my mama for signing for an apartment that me and my brother did not deserve having no co <laughs> hey, man. Hey, what, what you, who you got to shout out, Barrett? <laughs> my mother, I guess. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I, I mean, me, me and my brother, we we we. I was done fucking starving because we had no fucking money, bro. It's like it's like right there to being homeless to being okay. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. it's, it's oh, right. It's the a thin line, line. Is thin, dude. Yeah, like, like we, me and my brother, we we are tired of fucking starving. It had been like four days since we had eaten anything. Yeah. We had water and shit. Y'all bullshit. Y'all should have fucked up the noodles, man. We noodles did. Noodles. We were, dude, we were past the noodles. Oh, so you we can we, never be past the noodles, dude. We went to Walmart and I was like, Hunter, fuck this. Put on some shit you ain't never gonna wear. <laughs> I was like, put on some shit you ain't never gonna wear. So we walk in there looking like the. Oh, so y'all rob homeless? I mean, we y'all rob Walmart. We, we went walk, to Walmart. We walked dude. in there in a movie. I was like, steak, steak, steak. Damn. Beer, beer, beer. Know what we do? We're gonna feed the dogs too. Throw dog food on the top of it. Mm. Right out. I wasn't proud of it by I any means, you. but I was fucking starving. This admission of guilt brought to you by Zach. And this is seven years that it happened, Stash- right? <laughs> It's probably like 15 years. Yeah, yeah. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> well, let, let me segue into this. Hold on. Let me say one thing. Okay. A, it's okay to be in an uncomfortable situation as long as you, you know what I'm saying, are working to get out of it. And yeah. respect the people that are helping you get out of yeah, your situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Walmart has insurance for the shit you take. Because Correct. on the path to success, there is a lot of failure. We learned yeah. that on Tiger King. Yeah. Walmart Listen, has insurance. We've all been on the struggle bus. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes driving the guy. I don't ever want to hear anyone say, I learned this on Tiger King. And we did, because think about how much food it was given to them tigers. We didn't even hold know on, Walmart on. threw that much food out of way. That, that, is the first King, fuck, that is the first fucking thought King, I had. They found Carol Baskin's husband. No, no, they did not. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. She said she got a letter from her husband. Carol Baskin. My bad. My bad. You are absolutely right. When they were throwing away, it died. Oh, that's all right. It's when cool. they were it's when cool. they were throwing away those pizzas and bologna and shit. Oh, we didn't have a plug. I was like, you, was. yeah. They had a truckload the plugs of over there. expired fucking food, and I'm going like those Totinas pizzas. It wasn't even expired food. Fun. It was just food that you take to the counter at Walmart, and once you take it to the counter and you can't pay for it, they have to throw it away. That's they like, can't put it back on the shelves. I watched huh. CVS what are throw away. Like Foods. Tiger King, all the food that uh, they used to give the Tigers yeah, yeah. from Walmart, the Walmart trucks used to come in, and the it workers used to say we used food. to. Yeah, the workers say I, I paid out of that before. I'm like, I didn't even know Walmart I did know, that. I know. Listen, I know somebody. So good with mom those Target who team. has like, mm. I guess, a contract with Walmart. Like they get those that they, they get that food, like the food before it expires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a hot dog out of it. Correct. Man, that's a hustle. It is a hustle. Full yeah. on hustle. That's you what Goodwill does food. too. You can sell all of that. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Goodwill, they oh, buy, they buy, they buy. They buy. How do I do shit. that? They, <laughs> How do I do that? Goodwill buys literal 
semi truck trailer loads of shit that they couldn't sell, broken shit, and then return shit. Mm. And you know how much money they make off of that? Correct. They probably. I think. I think when they told me, I think they pay like four to five grand for the trailer, and then they'll make like hand over fist. Yeah. From you know somebody. who I think does something like that. And I don't want to be, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm just trying to plug you in here because you help me furnish a lot of my studio <laughs> um, discount headquarters. Mm. I think they get the stuff from Amazon that. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They get those crates. Returns, yeah. yeah, they get those crates and they sell it. And yeah. then they sell it for cheap and they'll bargain with you. Oh, that's cool. Right, so shout out Discount and Headquarters. I don't know if y'all struggling. I don't know if y'all booming, but y'all deserve that's what, plug. That's what um that there's a store in Columbia that does the bin shit where mm-hmm. you can go in. Oh, oh it's right beside crazy uh, the place. Boy. Yeah, whatever crazy it is. Like, and someone's like, I got a PS5. I was like, that motherfucker was a one in a million. He oh, just wasted oh, yeah, his that's lottery the, That's the Friday boxes. Yeah, like, yeah you, the you, ones, didn't, so, you lucked so out. every other day, it's a dollar. And on Friday, they do $7 boxes. Mm-hmm. And okay. those $7 boxes got real... Prizes, Dang, correct. Film some TikToks and yeah. that shit. <laughs> Open your seven dollar box. What'd you get? You got some Adidas, <laughs> like some that's fucking. Like, that's like um, uh, what's it called? Storage wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's exactly what that is. Well, let me segue into the guys that have wives at this table. All right, and y'all just let me know if how y'all feel about this little this little tidbit that Before DJ you single going Neek out. He does. He does have a girlfriend. I was just talking to the guys that have wives. Got a girlfriend right. too, man. I know, but I'm just saying this is for somebody that has a wife. Oh, cemented just the two of us. So well, yeah. cemented Wait, in permanent. Hold on. This is for, this is, this he's not technically married yet. I'm as oh, married yes, as married technically. Gets. Yeah, you th- you're right, the same. Oh, so, so you're the only one with a. I was guess this is a question for everybody. I'm going to just bring it for everybody. No, don't let Barrett do that. No, no, no. This is a question for everybody. Don't let Barrett do that. This is a question for everybody. Let's do this. So, DJ Envy. The 29 day. Correct. DJ Envy's wife. Explain it. Is going on a vacation with him for 29 days hey, without him that's a february month no nope. that's a february month how would y'all feel would hey. y'all let your wife go that's, Three, a, hey, th- that's hey. a whole like you have to pay rent Hold that on. Long. so so here's here's my question he's she's going with someone with friends with friends without his with, ass. who are these friends for her, her, her girlfriends yeah I, I'm, I'm okay with it. hey what's his name that did with cat williams I'm not, you can tell he's married i'm not <laughs> <And> the, <laughs> that is good for people that <laughs> married no, no because no, no here's listen, 29 days I, the I, sex drive in my age range <laughs> is at all time high and if you go for a month you have to be getting your rocks no, off somehow no. So not a woman. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who, women woman. are more horny than men. Who's that guy that was with Cat Williams? I mean, that, I guess that one special he had. He uh, throw your flag, blow your fucking whistle. Uh, throw your flag, blow your whistle. Fuck no. Why would I let her go for twenty nine days of some fucking where? <laughs> Negative. Look, I I know how I know how hard my wife works at home, and you know with the kids and everything Bruce, like Bruce, that. Bruce, if Bruce. she was like, if she was like, if she, I need a break. Uh, Heather, my, a month her though. Twenty nine days. Month? Man. I mean, I, I'm not saying that I would be able to. Well, that was getting all the bright points would in this would episode. You not, would, you not, <laughs> would you not like wake up at the week two and be like, "What the hell is my wife?" I, but I encourage, I encourage her to take the time off when she can't. Like, like, like Christmas. Like they'll do it. They'll do a trip where they'll go out of town. Like she and her friends will go out of town for like the weekend. They'll go to, to go shopping. Weekend. All but, right. but everybody say right now, what's the long? What is the but longest if, your girlfriend's on, been on vacation just, without let me just, you? Let me just finish. So, but yeah. if 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 she said, "I need uh, this in, in order for me to survive," I need it's. We have twins. Correct. You do have twins. I mean, it's it's it it's a what, constant. Are you assuming hassle. they're going? They have to miss. Their, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're assuming no, I, on no, week three no. they have to miss their children if they don't miss you. I'm I'm I, I can't imagine a scenario <laughs> where where Julie. Well, DJ Envy has five kids. Gabrielle went with her. She's cheating. Gabrielle. So he got caught for cheating. So this might be <laughs> his oh, punishment. She, oh, this is get back. Yeah, this is get back. This is oh, get back. Get back. Revenge. Wow. No, Gabrielle went to Alaska with her grandmother for a week and a half. Now I think that's the longest. Mm. But well, nowadays, if she does like, she's like, I'm gonna be gone for four. I think Nikki went for a week to Pittsburgh. I feel like I anything up to a month is living. So you're you're living there, <laughs> yeah. like people you're say. I live there for a month. You're now a resident. You know, like, like, like in certain, <laughs> in certain countries, taxes. in certain yeah. countries, they'll ask you how long are you going to be here. And if you say a month, they're going to be like, hold on. Hold yeah, on. for uh, what? You got to pay your rent. <laughs> Do you have? Yeah. You, it seems it's going to be. You got a work visa. <laughs> you got to pay taxes. Exactly. You got to pay taxes for the month of February. <laughs> hey, I think it's going to be a long, long. If time. I'm getting universal health care, I don't mind paying taxes. Listen, Fact. you have oh, to get Fact. dual citizenship if you are somewhere. <laughs> 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 Unless you're studying abroad. Yes, yes, on my taxes. <laughs> what do you have to write off? My bitch went to Switzerland. 
so, for a fucking month. You were going to ask what is what is the amount of time? So Zach, yeah, what's the longest amount? What of time? What is the longest amount of time? Two weeks. And, and I'm not going to say two that weeks, you're going to allow her because that, yeah, I know that's not your women do what the fuck no, they want to well, do. No, that I would be okay with. That you would right. you would not. A, protest she went she went for three days no we're not saying what she did <laughs> no, we're no, just no, saying no. What, what would is, you allow what is your, what is your limitation before this, you're like oh i need to find a new wife answer. she went away oh <laughs> <laughs> a month is too long. It's too been long. three no, fucking a month hours. Is almost longer than my relationship. And, and, uh, the uh, funny thing is, she was trying to play with him because she said twenty nine days. That's playing with me. Just say thirty. Just, just say a month. You didn't have to, you didn't have to come and curtis that right now. You're talking about listen, airplane flight. She tried. She tried to make it small. Hey, she tried to make it sound as small as possible because she should. She could have said four weeks. Correct. Yeah, she could have yeah. said a month. Yeah. yeah. She said twenty nine days. That is an insult. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be going for twenty nine days. Twenty nine days. By the time, yeah. by the time you finish seconds. counting, it'll be a month. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know your mouth is bitter from that salt. Go ahead and finish, though. Now, I'm, I'm talking about, so she went, this is a precursor. She went away for three days when I mean, it was just me and Eden. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, but I was at the end going like, what the fuck? Where you at? <laughs> was it because you missed her or because he you needed help? To, he needed help. It I didn't How long I before it's considered no a missing person? Well, technically, 20, 29 hours, 20, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the, 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 yeah, if you report somebody missing, they're going to ask you, like, how long have they been days. missing? 20, 20, 29 12, days is 12 20, hours, technically, if you really didn't know. 29, 29 days, you, your partner's dead. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> so, In a swamp somewhere. The longest I would be able to her, you haven't heard, consciously yeah. deal with? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks is your maximum. Okay. And weeks. if I know what you're doing and who you're with Listen, and all that, you want, you want to call and check in on, 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 every on. day. You want her to call and check in every day. I it guarantee you, if we were to ask her that question, that leash would be so much fucking. Oh, let's do that. Let's do that. Out. Let's each call our girlfriends Listen, right, 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 right now on right, right. online. Hold on, and say what's out. up. There's not that much time left. It depends. It depends how far they Meek go. stories would took too long. We, that sorry. would have been great no. content, though. For it's not like, stories. Man. Hold on, hold on, hold no, on. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm not saying it's a it bad thing. I'll call her right now. It I'll depends how far they go. Her? Are you yeah. on the? Are you on the on the blue? I can put it. I can put it in here okay. if we need to. All right, go ahead. All right. It depends how far they ask go. her. How long do, would I be able to go? Ask her for yourself, though. Yeah, don't even ask for her. <laughs> it's different. For I'll her. ask. I'll ask. Both. It's biased. I'll ask both. Ask you first. Yeah. Oh, this, 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 yeah, this ought to be oh, good. Like, why are you home hey, now? <laughs> so you're on the podcast for a second. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hello. So the, Trent had asked the question, how long would I be able to go without you if you went on a trip? Because they were talking about what's his name going on. A, uh, uh, what's, his, what's his name's wife going on a trip for 29 days without him? But you're saying it wrong. Gabrielle, how long would you allow Zach to go on a vacation for? The phone. Without you. Hold on, hold on. The phone is only oh. two feet from you. I know, sorry. You're I had to make two days. You said two, two days. Two days. <laughs> so, so him Gab on a vacation without me on a vacation also? Yeah. Two days. So, how so about you? How about you? How, yeah. But how long do you think I would allow, like, tolerate you going on a vacation? Two weeks. <laughs> Man! Oh! Nailed it! Nailed oh, that so was for, my fucking listen, answer. So, for that every is day it. is a week. That is my fucking answer. So, for every day is a week. <laughs> but I also yeah. said she would tow that leash harder than I just did. Correct. Yeah. You did say that. Yeah. Gabrielle, I said, I said I would Well, y'all meant two to be together. Y'all yeah, yeah, know each other well. Yeah, y'all got to tie that knot. Hold on. Before we go any further, does anyone feel like yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, they've nice discussed this before? We've never. There's no way because for her to say two days and for her to say, for herself two yeah, weeks. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> because she did it for like three days and I like I told y'all and I was like, thank God you're home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's God. Funny. Babe, that's you literally content. answered the same Listen, answer I had. Like great. I said, for me, it depends well, on I mean, it's been seven years now. We know each other really well. Yeah. 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 I think the longest, well. tell me if I'm correct on this, I think the longest was is when you went to Alaska and it was like a week yes. and a half or whatever it was. Yeah, it was, that's it was good like enough distance weeks. for a week. Yeah, Alaska is pretty long, pretty far. Yeah, yeah, that's several. Like, that's several planes. I was like, she's yeah. with her grandmother. We're fine. Yeah. Oh man, you have a ga yeah. a grandmother that lives in Alaska? No, she took her to no. Alaska. Oh, you oh. took your grandmother to Alaska? Reverse. Hey, no, my grandmother took me to Alaska. Man, Can, is, she was scouting. My my <laughs> my birthday's coming up. Will your grandmother take me to Alaska? <laughs> her grandmother <laughs> also took her to Italy. From hair school. Graduation, oh. babe. What, what did you do in Alaska for graduation? Spear fishing. Eat salmon, see bears, <laughs> fight Eskimos. <laughs> yeah, we um. 
Uh-oh. Was gold this gold mine panning for gold? And when your when your grandmother said a hard job, like yeah. I, there's no way I would have done. I would have been like poor. No, I'm not so <laughs> yeah. Gold mining is hard. Gabs, when your when your grandmother said, "Hey, congratulations on your graduation. I want to take you somewhere." Did you say I want to go to Alaska? No, oh, she no. said. You want to go to Alaska? I said yes. But her grandmother also took her to Italy, Florence. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, you gotta trust grandma's see? opinion. Is, is, she, grandma new. is grandma single? Yeah. Oh, she sounds single. <laughs> Does she mind if her, uh, let's say, chill, chill, <laughs> her <laughs> grandfriend? Very <laughs> <you're> not single. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about you to say. Really Everybody gets old. For? Yeah, man, we're about to call your wife and see how long she wants you to go. <laughs> hey, I'm single. And I, hey, I'll be, be like, going, I'm be a like cougar hunter. <laughs> <laughs> he come at whatever. No, I'll play my thing. Well, I love you. Uh, uh, I'll be home soon, but thank you for making me right. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Bye, Gabs. <laughs> Hey, but like I said, it depends on the distance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if you need time for jet lag and yeah. all of that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's pretty funny. And, you know what I'm saying? How about she said two fucking weeks? Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That's impressive. Because she's like, that bitch will take two weeks. Well, we're gonna- <laughs> <laughs> that means if she said four days, that means it'd be a month. <laughs> And the craziest thing, she only gave you two days to go without yeah. her. Two without days. Break, yeah. without, that, hey, is the craziest that means part. you have to you have to do everything the day you get there. Yeah. And then you have to come back. Come back. Wake up. <laughs> no, nope. I would just apologize. Like I'm sorry, it's been 15 days. <laughs> That's been, one over two weeks. It's been two weeks since you looked at me. <laughs> Grab my dick, I said. I'm sorry, I'm angry. Oh man, that is uh, that. That's gonna do it. For this man, we got We got to wrap this up, man. That hey, was a great end, man. I would like to end with a joke. I don't. I, Wait, oh. I thought you were calling yours, and you were calling. We don't have enough time. No, 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 there's not enough time. We got enough time. You mother. I thought it is. Hey, Mother's Day. Mother's Day's coming up. We'll, we'll, we'll fix or something. Yeah, we, I'll call after Valentine's Day. I don't want to mess with Valentine's Day up. <laughs> Listen, I want to end with a joke. It's an inappropriate joke, but I thought. But don't it get us canceled. Of what you <laughs> And we're on don't Twitch. Don't look at me like it's inappropriate. Hey, you're hey. Hey. <laughs> we're, on, we're on Twitch, remember, so don't well, get buried. What do you call? Okay, here we go. Nuts on the wall. Oh, I thought there was more to the intro. What, wall what? nuts. What do you call oh. nuts on? What do you call nuts on your chest? Hit it again. Chest nuts. What do you call nuts on your chin? <laughs> I don't know. Dick in your mouth. <laughs> I, I, did, I knew that one too. I was like, God damn it, it's in there. Hey, somebody laughed on Twitch. Lowbrow. Lowbrow. <laughs> and actually, this, this joke brought to you by yeah. Neon Birds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great blowout. <laughs> Thank you, Nick the Geek, engineer and producer, owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. Check out details on how you can utilize his talent and production expertise at GOTSoundStudio.com. Thanks to Muff the Producer. Follow him on Instagram at Muff the Producer. Thanks to Trent Clark, a.k.a. DJ Lonzo, currently serving as the house DJ at the main course in Columbia, South Carolina. Make sure to go by and have a good time. You can contact Trent for all your entertainment needs. Trent at TheAllAboutNothing.com and on Instagram at the Real DJ Lonzo on Twitter at DJ Lonzo Top 5. You can also phone him 803 262 7982. If you enjoy the show, consider becoming a patron by visiting our website and clicking at the link at the top of the browser that will take you to our Patreon page. You can find details on how you become a supporter or you can check out benefits there and just consider a donation so that we can continue to bring you this nonsense. We enjoy doing it. We enjoy you enjoying it. As always, you can follow us on Facebook. Just search for All About Nothing US on Twitter and Instagram at AAN underscore pod or you can find links to all of our social media and available podcasts podcast platforms by visiting theallaboutnothing.com. If you'd like to be heard on the show, you may call and leave us a message, 803-672-0533. If the time between these episodes is too far apart, you can fill that time by checking out some of our partner podcasts. Zach and I host What the Pod Was That with Carrie Simmons. Visit whatthepodwasat.com for links and details. Carrie and Chrissy host Status Macabre. You can find details at statusmacabre.com. Ami Bland takes a deep dive down the rabbit hole in episodes of Welcome to Wonderland available on all of your podcast listening platforms. As well, you should check out our own DJ Lonzo's Top 5 hosted by Trent Clark, available on most of your podcast listening platforms. <laughs> all right, that's good for this week's episode. The All About Nothing Podcast. You all stay safe and... Have a week! That was the end of the joke. Great blowout. <laughs> <laughs> this The All About Nothing Podcast is recorded live from the Maddie Johnson Podcast Studio at GOT Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. The All About Nothing Podcast is produced and engineered by Neek the Geek, owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. To support the show, please visit theallaboutnothing.com for links to social media, merchandise, and more. Become a patron of the show by following the Patreon link at the top of our page. 
The All About Nothing podcast is an entertainment product of Barrett Gruber. Special thanks to Zach King, Trent Clark, Muff the Producer, Neek the Geek, and you, our listeners. Please subscribe, rate, review, and share. If you're on YouTube, please hit the like button and the notification bell. Thank you for listening. The All About Nothing podcast is a part of the GOT Podcast Network and a product of Barrett Gruber Entertainment and Media.